find me a big house up on the hill Got my friends at my back, got my hands on a wheel Gonna change my name, gonna change my clothes Don't matter where I came from long as nobody knows I know my friends ain't the brightest lights on the Christmas tree, but I was hopeful as a Democrat when I walked into the courtroom. Casey Campbell? Yes, Your Honor. You're here to reopen the will of the dearly departed Wilma Campbell. May God rest her soul. Yes, sir, I am. I come before you today as the rightful heir to Wilma Campbell's estate. I had just the other day found a secret letter some old lady wrote and stuck in a jewelry box before she died. Her dumbass family didn't find it before they threw all her worldly possessions out on the front yard in front of God and everybody. But me being the shrewd observer I am, I found that little meal ticket in no time. I fucking love estate sales, and Green Valley's nice as shit. I was hunting me a real pearl necklace. Harry gave me one once, but it busted cause I got drunk and thought it was one of them candy necklaces made out of Smarties. But rich old people always got a ton of jewelry and shit, so I headed there straight away. Didn't want a bunch of vultures taking everything before I could even get there. My, my, my. Now here I was thinking that Wilma Campbell's family had settled her affairs. Well, me and the rest of the Campbells ain't on speaking terms. That's why I come straight to you. Well, I'll be. Well, I surely do wish to honor the late Mrs. Campbell's wishes. May she rest in peace. That woman made the meanest green bean casserole this side of Saluda. Mm-hmm. That's the truth, sir. She sure did. Here, this is the note she left me. Uh, let's have a look-see. Little girl, give me my necklace. My necklace. That's what you think. All right, bitch, I'll make you a fair trade. You ever see a candy necklace before? Uh-huh. Look at this shit. It's like a pearl necklace you can eat. I'll give it to you. You give me them pearls. Psych! You got played, bitch. Welcome to the school of hard knocks. <laughs> Professor Ferrari Thunderbird Taylor's class. My wealth and worldly possessions I leave to my long-lost great-granddaughter, Casey Campbell, should the good Lord see fit to return her to Green Valley. And here she is, Your Honor. My long-lost client has returned. I knew I'd need me a lawyer if I was going to convince a judge in a court of law that I was the rightful inheritor of Miss Wilma Campbell's estate. Evening, friends. Gotta say, man, that's a nice robe on you. Oh, thanks, man. I thought I'd spend me a nice quiet night at home, you know, get a little R&R, &R, watch some play, independent films. Yeah, my nice. Yeah. <laughs> Carter, will you stop being a pervert for one minute and listen? We got a favor to ask you. Oh, well, I'm flattered. Hey, y'all wanna come in and sit down and have a nightcap or something? There's plenty of room on the couch. No. A nightcap did sound delicious, but I was not about to sit on Carter's couch and sip fucking cheap Moscato. I stayed focused and told him what was up. So you'll help us, right? I don't know, Fair. I was supposed to get me a pedicure tomorrow. They do that for dudes now? Oh, yeah, man. Shit's really changed since Obama got elected. <laughs> yeah, man, it's that post 9-11 world. No doubt about it. But look, you head down the street here to Happy Nail, and they'll give you just about any service you can think of as long as you can pay for it. And it feels pretty good? Yeah, man, like mother's milk and honey. For the love of Jesus Christ, Carter, if you play my lawyer tomorrow, I'll take us all out for pedicures. <sighs> all right, girl, you got yourself a deal. 
Mm, you know I love me some role play. Now, this uh, piece of paper isn't exactly a will. Are you calling my great granny a liar? Objection, Your Honor. Don't be calling my client's great granny a liar now. All right, time for my first witness. Tiffy, get up there, tell the judge how you know me since I was little. Hey girl, what you doing up this early? Finding us a fucking golden opportunity, that's what. Language, Thera. I got you on speakerphone. It's your Aunt Thera calling. Thera, say good morning to Dixie Belle. Quit telling that child it's a relation of mine. I'm painting her fingernails. Here, let me hang up and take a picture and send it to you. God damn it, Tiffy. Dad gummit, Thera. Is that what you meant to say? because we have a pair of sweet little innocent ears here that are hearing every word you say. Listen, I am trying to tell you that I have great news for us, but I can't explain it over the phone. Get your butt to Chick-fil-A and I'll fill you in. I have to finish painting Dixie Belle's nails first. I'm doing an accent color on her ring finger. Chick-fil-A, 15 minutes. Be there, bitch. Nothing like a homespun cookies and cream milkshake from Chick-fil-A. Give that about an 8.4 on a Shumway shipping scale. Say, Tiffy, what'd you do with Dixie Belle? She's at home. Just left her out by her lonesome. She can't go nowhere. She's in the crib. Will y'all shut up about that infant and focus on the task at hand? Okay, Farah. I told you, you're gonna have to start calling me Casey right now. Otherwise, y'all gonna forget at a crucial moment and blow the whole plan. Sorry, Casey. So all we have to do is convince the judge that that's your real name. Yeah, it's called being a witness, Tiffy. Y'all go with me to probate court, back me up when I show the judge this letter. Before you know it, I'm the owner of a big ass Green Valley estate. I don't know, Farrah. I don't like talking to no cops. Harry, I told you, you behave yourself, won't no cops bother you. Can't you just answer a few simple questions? I'm kind of scared too. I don't want him to take Dixie Bay. <sighs> Fine. Y'all help me out? I'll share my estate. You for real? Yes. Well, you should have just said that from the beginning. Dixie Bell and I can live there too? Don't get clingy now, bitch. You can put a baby pool out front for Dixie Bell. One of those big blow up ones? Yes, duh. Hey, Farrah, I mean, Casey, you think I could put an air hockey table in the bathroom? Maybe in the basement. Well, you think I could put a urinal down there in the basement? Whatever, Harry. I don't fucking care. Dixie Bell's gonna have a real house. Y'all are in, right? Yeah. I'm in, bitch. Good. Y'all better not fuck this up. Your Majesty, I grew up with Casey. We was best friends growing up until she ran off and didn't tell nobody where she went. I sure am glad she returned, though, because now she has a whole estate all to herself in Green Valley. I love you, Casey. <laughs> Say, hey, Aunt Casey. Thank you. All right, now, second witness. Harry, get up, tell this judge who I am. Uh, yes, judge, this is Miss Casey Campbell. Uh, she escaped from South Carolina when she was very young, and uh, she was hitchhiking, and that's how I found her. I mean, that's how I met her. Pick me up right outside of Tootsie Doo, ain't that right, Harry? Oh, yes, that's right, ma'am. I mean, Casey, that's, that's correct. She's correct. Hmm. So I get my estate now. Young lady, I am beginning to doubt your integrity. I don't know what kind of chicanery you all brought into my courtroom. Hey, 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 hey. But hey, it's no, a that's... disgrace to the memory of Wilma Campbell. May God rest her soul. Order in a fucking court. I have no choice but to throw this case out. Miss Campbell, and I really doubt that is your real name, your case is dismissed. Oh, uh, you can't do that, because I plead the fifth. Uh, your Honor, we're the people of this great country. I insist know you're that you fooling, reopen. woman, and I ain't got any more patience for it. If I was fooling, would I have me a government-issued photo ID? I didn't leave no stone unturned. I knew I was going to need some official looking documents to prove my new identity, so I swallowed my hate and set up a meeting with JD. Well, well, well. If 
it ain't Ferrari Thunderbird Taylor. You're late, JD. I ain't got time for this. Now that ain't a way to talk to somebody before you're asking for a favor. This is opportunity you got going on. None of your goddamn business. All right, have it your way. I'm just gonna go inside, grab me some Slim Jams, be on my way there. You still making fake IDs for the kids at the high school? Sure, sure. Why? Got a little sister I don't know about. I need one for myself. Shit, Farrah, you ain't 21 yet? Oh, fuck. I need one with my face on it says Casey Campbell. That's Casey with an I-E, and Campbell's got a P in it. In it. I'm gonna overlook you being a fourth grader right now because this is time right. sensitive. What you gonna give me for it? I knew he was gonna go down that road. I ain't got time for this. How much is it gonna cost me? Have sex with me right now. I will smack you into tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Keep talking about that. I am never gonna fuck you, JD. All right. Now, is there something else you want or am I gonna make my idea at Kinko's? Uh. You got connects down to Slippery Whiskey, right? Duh, I've been going there since I was 11. I'm gonna need a little FaceTime with the owner. Why are you asking me for that? Just go on down there and talk to Joey. Uh, it ain't that simple, you know, I gotta have a little uh, intro action. You know what I'm saying? What business do you got with Joey? Don't you worry about that, all right? Now what you need an ID says Casey Campbell for? Did I say you could ask me questions? Just get it done, J.D. What the hell, Judge? That's my personal property. Now, y'all have really tried my patience. I've got a mind to throw all of y'all in jail right this second. I have a letter from my great granny. You are cheating a dead woman of her final earthly wish. Wilma Campbell never would have had a granddaughter the likes of you. That woman was a saint. May God rest her blessed soul. Well, her dead old soul's gonna haunt you for the rest of your life cause of this. Miss, just be glad I don't feel like charging you with identity fraud. The paperwork's a bitch. Don't you go using that kind of language on me, Judge. There are ladies in Tara, this courtroom. I really think you should. Shut up, up shut up, all of you. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sentence all of y'all to seven hours community service. What the hell, man? Dixie Bill, too. Come on, Judge, I got a bad back, man. I, I thought this court was just for dead people. Judge, give me my estate. You have to give it to me. It's mine. Get out of my courtroom. Y'all already made me late for lunch. Get out of here before I lock y'all up. Man, you ain't saying the last of me, Judge. judge. I'm gonna appeal hell, you. Man. There's no justice yeah, the here hell, today. Man. I'm gonna appeal. What the hell? I My shitty friends couldn't help me in my time of need, so we all got punished into helping people we don't even know. I fought the law, and the law won the battle, but not the war. Cause one of these days, I'm gonna have me a big ass estate in Green Valley, and won't be nothing none of y'all can do about it. Probate court, you ain't seen the last of me. I found my fortune waiting there like it was meant for me, and all the good life's alike, and I found 